So this traffic has been backed up for at least a mile, maybe two or three now, but it's all caused by a bump and go fender bender on my side of the road. I'm headed north, okay? This side of the road, going this way. The fender bender's on this side of the road, three miles back. Why is the traffic all the way over there backed up the way it is? Rubber neckers, rubber neckers. Seriously, y'all are gonna cause more accidents. I'm, I'm pretty sure this accident goes all the way up 95 to doggone North Carolina. Look at the traffic, I mean, seriously. There's no need for that. Nothing to see. They're not on your side of the road. There's no emergency vehicles on your side of the road. Just keep going. We've now driven about two and a half more miles and the jam is still there. I mean, just seriously, why must people rubberneck an accident that's not even on their side of the road? Seriously, people. I mean, I'm so glad I'm northbound because that is ridiculous. Here we are seven miles later and it's finally sort of thinning out. But I can probably rest assured that as soon as we pass this tree line up here, it's going to be a whole bunch more traffic. Seriously, this is what causes more accidents. We have the state law, move the fender bender out of the road, people in the driving lanes, keep moving, move over for emergency vehicles, and let's keep the flow of traffic moving. Look, yeah, we're now going on almost eight miles of backed up traffic for an accident that's not even on their side of the road. Thank you.